because I am starting the day late. I woke up at 9, it is now noon, and we came to walk. I have a cameraman that you're not going to see because you all like to talk to people. So, yeah, we're going to have a little fun. Bye. Hi. Today, I am putting together both Saturday and Sunday main reason being that Sunday is the first day of the second week for the purposes of the Fitbit and also it was my 34th wedding anniversary today yesterday I went for a walk with my husband who was my cameraman the one that I told you I was not going to show you and unfortunately the sound as much as I tried to reduce the background noise this time around I was unable to so I made it as slow as possible you might have a hard time hearing it because I had to lower the volume down quite a bit but we had a beautiful walk we went walking after we dropped our daughter off at work she went in at noon so we drove to the park and we had a really good time we went for a really long walk and it started out like in good spanish como el rosario de la aurora and what that means is when we got to the park we had been arguing pretty much the entire drive and then we got to the park and we kept arguing and by the time we got to where you see the flower I wanted to break his neck <laughs> but what happened was really interesting because we had this really big argument and at some point on the argument I realized what he was trying to tell me which is one of the biggest lessons of the year and so I'm going to leave it for that video but I wanted to share with you that it was an eye-opening, aha moment type of situation, which I, I cannot get over how that worked. And then I was telling my daughter about it, and she says, well, that's your communication style, isn't it? And I'm like, what? And she says, your communication style is you two will start arguing, and then all of a sudden, in the middle of the argument, you'll both go like, oh, and the argument will be over. That's why I never get involved in you all's argument. <laughs> Yeah, she had it in a nutshell, pretty much. That's 34 years. What can I say? We're both very passionate about certain things, so that's why it works out like that. I'm glad I took a picture of the actual Fitbit for the day after we finished the walk. Because as it turns out, I forgot to take a picture of the freaking a screenshot of the actual walk. And so what you're seeing is the numbers from the iPhone first and that's kind of, also has kind of like a summary for the week and then the last two are the fitbit the summary for the week in terms of miles and in terms of steps and sure enough i managed to make the 30 miles and ironically i was kind of shocked to find out that i had done 73,000 steps if you remember the goal from the beginning, it's um, weekly 70,000 steps and hopefully 30 to 35 miles. And so that was amazing to me. <sighs> anyway, moving on to Sunday. On Sunday, like I said, we were going to spend the day celebrating the anniversary. And we started the morning by having omelette. My daughter made herself a cheese omelette and I made the cute little one that you saw there. And then we went for some pictures, which are like private, obviously, because my husband's in them. And then, if you didn't know, yesterday was the full moon. I believe they call it the cold full moon because it's December. It wasn't that cold. But it was beautiful and the special effect that I got from my camera made it worth it and that's the image I'm leaving you with. Be good to one another. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Maybe, maybe not. As always, thank you to my patrons and my rock stars. And 
let me know in the comment section below what else would you like to know about what's going on in these crazy times. Bye!